Okay, the reason they don't put DPS meter is to hide how much they fail the other classes. Uh, you would have seen that in like MVP screen anyway, dude. What's the difference? Same shit anyway. For every person, I play Sork. This is called objectivity. Soulfish uh, will get a 30% base attack damage buff. Do you know what this means? It means that they didn't, didn't even notice for so long that Soulfish does this underpowered. <laughs> what I noticed for this is that this guy is a fucking idiot, dude. Cause like he doesn't even know like how Solfis actually work. <laughs> well, that just invalidated his uh, his uh, his opinion right there. Let's move on right there. This guy's uh, literally an idiot. Right? His opinion like uh, doesn't even matter. He doesn't even know what he's talking about, dude. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's go. It's react time. Let's react right there. So yeah, I need to catch up on some of this react, but yeah. But this is the list of all bad designs elements in Lost Ark. Uh, I glanced a little bit on this and some of these are like question mark as well. So yeah, let's see uh, for this right here, the real one. So yeah, uh, this uh, decided to write down a list of everything wrong with the game, in my opinion of course. Okay, it's his opinion, right? So yeah, when reading, remember that criticizing something doesn't mean that you hate it. It means that you see some uh, great things in the game. But there are too many shadows cast over by pointing at the shadows. You are in fact helping uh, whoever is willing to make the game better uh, to really make it shine. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> Just time to get shown. Yeah, react time right here. Let's react right there. Let's react, let's react right there. Bridge is uh, 1325. Okay, playing with friends is a burden more than anything. Huh? <laughs> Channel swaps, leadership swaps, island events not respecting your party information as in you end up in opposing teams. Okay, that's because it's random so that you don't like obviously you don't like just destroy the other team or something. No advantages whatsoever for playing with friends like the extra magic 5% in Diablo 3. Uh, what do you mean? You can synergy that you can organize on your own maybe? What? <laughs> Lost Ark is a single player game with a few co-ops to give illusion of multiplayer. Okay, well, I mean, like every MMO that has like a uh, instance based MMO, MMO is based similar to this, right? What are we talking about? I don't know. That's the thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> you can't even play rank PvP with a friend's team. Yeah, for the same reason why you don't do this. Because, like, you can just destroy the other team by, like, having, like, you know. Two Grandmaster, one Bronze basically, boosting services right there. You get matched with like gold players, well you're gonna destroy it right there. One guy with Grandmaster probably can just shit on all three gold players. Boost uh, selling right there. But I guess, I don't know, I guess like some people like boost selling right, so yeah. You can play with uh, friends unranked, just so that you don't defeat that purpose right there. The most fair you can get is unfortunately just solo queue. So yeah, this isn't Diablo 3, <laughs> it's in Diablo 3, yeah. You have more goals and chance of finding legendary items in group in D3, which is controversial design, by the way. It's kind of controversial though, because like, what about like people that are playing solo? So I guess they get shit on, right? How about you make it just equal, man? How about equality? You know, how about equality? <laughs> you can't do most treasure map with friends. What? But you can, if you have the same map. <laughs> uh, you can't play the main story with friends. You can. Just the solo instance ones you cannot, because they are they are usually like a story uh, like sto like a story driven. The single player is game made in eighty with better multiplayer than Lost Ark. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> this is an MMO, dude. But <laughs> when you're playing a game and organizing a group, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not sure, dude. That's the f that's his first point, by the way. So yeah, not sure what's going on over there, dude. This is like just like you know, this is like standard MMO. Most MMO are like this, basically. You have to channel swap because if you don't channel swap, you have like one open world, then you get like rendering issue because you cannot render everyone. Leadership swap. I mean, like, well, you kind of like have to anyway. But I'm mean, like that's normal. I feel like as well. Alan event not respecting. I don't know. All of these are like kind of weird right here. That's just part of the game, to be honest. But. Yeah, I don't know, man. No clue, no clue right there. <laughs> yeah, engravings, gems, runes, gear, skills, uh, cards, they're all the same. They either add damage, defense, or resistance, nothing else. Nothing to spark players' creativity. No interesting affixes to differentiate uh, your build. Nothing. The core game design is a huge failure, completely uniform. It's not completely uniform. 
you can run heavy armor and everything you can run tier 2 gems you can run all cooldown gems on everything yeah you can still gonna be shit though it's uniform it's not uh, necessarily uniform it is relatively straightforward so that, that idiots like you are, do not get confused <laughs> that's the reason right there so yeah it used to be more complicated cards usually was com more complicated runes way more complicated runes in like season one dude like i did i still don't understand how like runes work in season one this one is way more simple so yeah it's, it's to make it easier for like you know uh, idiots to understand right there and then like there are choices yeah but every, if, if you give choices right we talk about this earlier when i was raiding on agro right you know some guy like came in complaining that like you know there are useless stats you know it's not that it's useless there is useful there is usefulness in it it's just not as good as the other stats <laughs> and there's always going to be that you can make like you know 20 build basically and then people are gonna pick the meta build anyway right in the end, you're gonna be back with one. Then it's uniform anyway, right? Because everyone on that class runs that basically meta build. So what's the difference? <laughs> Either way, it's the same. That's not really like the case right there. That's not like a bad design. That's actually like a simplified design for uh, people. <laughs> okay, itemization is super boring. No gear diversity. It's like being in the army where they give uh, the same exact weapon to everyone. Is he talking about like uh, the enhancing and everything? So what does he want then? You have weapon with like lower uh, attack power maybe? Or maybe like you have weapon with high attack power? Well that just add like more RNG to the game doesn't it? That wonder what is that there? You need PhD to play PoE. So coming from ARPG like Diablo or PoE I can understand why he says Loa is more simple. Well this is not an ARPG though. He can go back to PoE or like uh, Diablo. This is not an ARPG. <laughs> Maybe he write this in mind that he only have two set to choose from Argos and one only one is really viable. True. I mean like he probably like are like ignorant, so he doesn't know that like you know there is like literally nine sets in like a uh, Legion raid, so yeah. He's looking for an ARPG with at scale isn't working with an MMO. Yeah, it's not even the same game, you know. You're comparing of apples and oranges. So yeah. It's either content abundance or items abundance, if plus or class both, they take another 10 years to recent care, let alone west. Here is the thing about itemization abundance. If you have like itemization abundance, then you have balance issue, because it gets harder and harder. How many specs in WoW right now? In WoW right now, any of you that play WoW, how many specs are there? And how many of them is actually like useful? That's what you mean by that, like, you know, itemization abundance. Like having like a the basic, like a the, like similar gear, it's basically the, the way to like make it like easier to balance like you can have like i don't know uh 20 build either way you're uh, basically there's gonna be one or two build that you're gonna use and again it comes down to like basically the one that like is the most efficient so yeah every class in wow has one dead spec at least imagine so yeah bruno take the floor welcome dude yeah, end of the day, you still go for the efficient build, and then you complain it's completely uniform. Well, there is a reason why it's uniform. It's because it's the most efficient build. People always ask, what's the meta? What's the best DPS class? So in the end, everything's gonna be the same, right? And then you complain about this? <laughs> so yeah, leveling system extremely boring. Every MMO leveling system is extremely boring, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, as a concept, it fails dramatically. You're honing your gear. That's not leveling. But you're not hon even honing that gear because you can transfer it to another gear. What? So what the fuck are you honing? It's not the gear, it's not the character, is it? You're uh, honing the same ethereal statistical concept of item level and practically it's so linear that after a while you don't even care anymore. Well, item level is there as a, gate uh, as a gateway. It's so that like, you know, idiots with like 302 gear doesn't go to like Valton. Because they wouldn't be able to do anything. <laughs> It's so that like you progress through the game. <laughs> but yeah, number five seems kinda true. Let me check. Classes are imbalanced. Sork Berserker are mostly MVP while the rest are obliterated. Yeah, if you probably suck, I guess. True. I mean like they're ahead right now. And that's why they're like uh, being tuned down. They already got tuned down in Korea. So yeah, the reason they don't put DPS meter is to hide how much they failed the other classes. Uh, you would have seen that in like MVP screen anyway, dude. What's the difference? Same shit anyway. For every person, I play Sork. This is called objectivity. Soulfish uh, will get a 30% base attack damage buff. Do you know what this means? It means that he didn't, didn't even notice for so long that Soulfish does this underpowered. 
uh, 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 uh. What I noticed for this is that this guy is a fucking idiot, dude. Cause like he doesn't even know like how solfis actually work. <laughs> well, uh, that just invalidated his uh, his uh, his opinion right there. Let's move on right there. This guy's uh, literally an idiot. Uh, his opinion like uh, doesn't even matter. He doesn't even know what he's talking about, dude. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> like what the fuck, dude? Yeah, we skip that one. That one's bullshit. That one's just an idiot right there. Just an idiot right there. <laughs> Just an idiot, just an idiot right there. Uneducated player. Gizul right there. So yeah, PvP is extremely blunt and unrewarding because they ignored the concept of snowballing. You play a few games and you forget there is a PvP right after. For some reason, Small Gate decided to ignore the main element that made MOBA so popular. This is not MOBA. And print millions. I don't know, maybe you heard League of Legends. They use snowballing mechanic, which is some kind of instant evolution gratification upon successful play. Maybe next time you design a PvP, you would think about it and come up with design that respects main game mechanics. I don't know what he, he what he's asking. Extremely blunt and reward unrewarding. What do you mean by that? Concept of snowballing. I mean like after you kill like two, three people after you like you wipe an enemy team, you're three kills ahead. That's basically snow already snowballing right there. The enemy team has to kill more than three to actually try to win. Uh, I don't understand what he's talking about right now. But yeah, who likes snowballing? Uh, people that like uh, likes bullying Lana usually. But usually, when, uh, whenever it starts to snowball, you give up. Who likes playing a 10 minutes game? After like you know your mid your mid lane dies, like two three times, you just like give up. <laughs> So yeah, he wants to be LOL Diablo, I don't know. He seems to be like, uh, he si uh, MMO, uh, like, I don't know if it's MMO or Lost Ark specifically, it's not for him. So yeah. Too many currencies to control player interaction is silly and confusing. Let a, a light a long sailing coin. Sun coin, this coin, that coin, parrot coin, silver coins, gold, peons, event coins. After a while, you don't even want to deal with it anymore. You store the, the chest and forget about them. I mean, you store the chest so that like you have it when you need it. So yeah, the currencies are there to prevent you from like having one currency for everything. Like you can't really like, I don't know, what, you wanna whale pirate coins? You wanna whale what? <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> peak pepe, I don't know man. Uh, right now like I'm just like gla uh, glazing through everything. I mean like there is a lot of currencies, yeah. But I mean like it's not, it doesn't take rocket science to understand what they do. But I don't know. Fast forward, go next, yeah. Farming is uh, completely absent from the game. The only place you can farm are Chaos Dungeon. This is, there is just twice a day. After that, farming becomes less under wedding if you are not a bot. Uh, that's why you have alts. You farm on your alts, but yeah. Feon complain number 99372. <laughs> yeah. Wailing pirate coins like rackheads, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing right there. <laughs> uh, Salman, thank you for me. Welcome, dude. I don't know, this is weird here. Raid bosses designs are pathetic. Sidewalk, chalk games which even 10 years old don't play anymore. Step here, step there, don't step here. If I want to play Mario, I'd play Mario. Ignorant. Fast forward, as usual. Uh, the story, I mean, it's an, uh, okay, it's an MMO. It has to be generic at max, but really, don't you get tired of the same story available well in 10,000 uh, mobile gacha, MMO, uh, etc. Demons attack humans, angels protect humans, kinda. Ignorant. Uh, we move forward right there. Because this is... <laughs> Already like wrong, but yeah. Okay, <laughs> you can't even play the game that if, uh, even if you want to. Weekly timers, daily timers, silent timers, everything is on the timer. Someone please record game. That game is not work playing, is not uh, doing chores. Well, I mean, you can do it like when you uh, when you can do it. If not, then you cannot. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, like uh, you can play the game whenever you can, and when the daily timer is there for you, then yeah. If you can't make it, then unfortunately, that's just how it is, right? It's the way uh, it's the way it's designed. I mean, like it's 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 a game and it's not work. Yeah, you're not wrong. You don't play it when you uh, you don't need to. So yeah, but he likes Diablo three. Wait, he likes Diablo three. What's there in Diablo three then? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, like timers are there. I mean, like games usually like uh, in MMO they have like some timers here and there. Usually, I don't know. It's just events anyway, basically that you can go or not. Funny thing is, this guy probably plays on low ping. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way the game works, yeah. I mean, like, uh, you might not like it. Then maybe the game is not for you, right? I mean, like, the game is not for everyone. And it's definitely not for this guy. So, yeah, quests are not even quests. They're just hoops you jump through. Talk to the NPC. Now talk to the NPC. Okay, so what quest is not like this? <laughs> what the quest is not like this? 
quests are like, you know, go over there, kill this, kill that, go over there, talk to that guy. It's always like that anyway. <laughs> if there was no timer, there would uh, be times where the island is empty, where you decide to do the event. Timers help participation numbers, kinda, true. If there is no timers, then like, you might be doing the event solo. Sometimes the event you cannot solo, because like, people are not doing it. Timers are there so that people gather on specific time, so that there is people to actually do the events. Every MMO quest is like that, but this guy is not an MMO player, so yeah. Main story quest for each separate or exaggeration, you meet a main compa uh, companion NPC and do his chores, that's it. Yeah, ignorant, move forward. Leveling a new class is completely useless, that's uh, very, very ignorant. It's way more advantageous to have multiple heroes of the same exact class for a game that is encouraging having multiple alt. There is terrible, horrible game design right there. Not necessarily, because uh, you play like other class that you enjoy. You know, it's more, uh, it, uh, it's more, av it's way more advantageous, it's like, not really. It is more advantageous to have, like, the same class, if you dis uh, prefer to do so, but you don't have to. Because, like, they still provide you with the same benefit. Gearing them is cheaper, but I mean, like, you still farm the same thing with the uh, other ones. So much wisdom here, having trouble absorbing everything. <laughs> Horrible game design, by the way. But yeah, not for him. Bound materials you can share with your alts. It's so that alts is not busted. <laughs> you will throw away thousands of materials because of that bound of uh, affixes. Uh, ba bad doesn't even start to describe design of Lost Ark. I guess some devil decided that they don't need a designer or they don't even know that you they needed one in the first place. Maybe they thought the makers like your loot is your own or the machine grew on trees. <laughs> dude, like if like everything is like unbound, dude, like Lost Ark is already like alt centric game. You wanna make it more alt centric? Like literally an alt will be super strong right now Because an alt just provides you double the materials Right now So you, you want it to be like heavy alt then basically If you don't have alt, you're gone man Out Get out basically <laughs> Why is crying like the game? Why is, it, uh, why is he talking? I mean like he can just like leave the game I mean like the game is literally not for him basically So yeah, a million alts easy progress Yeah, no bound materials right? Send everything to your main, funnel it dude like, alts are literally busted at that point. The reason why alts are like, you know, are good right now is because they can funnel your materials. Now, double or triple that materials. Because now, the, the bound ones are unbound. So, yeah. Let me be the equivalent of Giga Well with my 13 character. Uh, probably you can do that, yeah. How about people that actually, like, you know, has work? Well, I guess they're shit, isn't it, Shroud, man? They don't have time to actually do alts. <laughs> I guess they're shit now. So there is a reason why it's like that. It's to like uh, it's to make alts like to like uh, to reduce the power of alts basically. Alts is already really strong right now. So yeah, <laughs> just get injured to have hip surgery. Yeah, overuse of RNG is typical of VT mechanics. Whenever they had problem, they patch it with RNG or new currency. What problem? What overuse of RNG? Which one are we thinking about here? Is talking about honing or what? I mean, like the uh, uh, RNG is on every MMO, I guess. Maybe he plays single player games. There is even RNG on PoE though. <laughs> I don't know what uh, what online game doesn't have RNG basically right there. Like not online game, like a uh, MMO or anything like that doesn't have RNG. <laughs> I don't know. Man. Animation of some classes are in the way of their performance. The devs didn't even consider these classes while shaping their raid bosses. Well, turn off animation. What? <laughs> Like the animation like are literally on there on the settings for you to turn off if, if, if you don't wanna see it. <laughs> I don't know man. <laughs> don't know what's going on, what's going on right there. Has the least RNG of any MMO I've ever played. I wouldn't say it has the least RNG. It does have like a lot of RNG, yeah. But every MMO is the same. I wouldn't if I wouldn't say it's the least, I would say it's like the same as like other MMOs. I mean like the reason why RNG is there is to keep people playing anyway. It's like the core design of like MMOs to begin with. First time MMO player, probably. Probably, probably. I don't know, man. Uh, like, I shouldn't like read this to be honest, you know. Yeah, the moment like he said like some of this stuff, his opinion is invalid already. Like the guy literally has no clue how the game even works. So yeah, he should go back to like, I don't know, playing Barbie or something. <laughs> the least punishing. Yeah, I was playing the auction house, gold income, so the static, uh, PT system can deliver RNG, everything is gated and limited. It's like fake RNG, yeah, you're gonna get there sooner or later. So yeah, it's just sometimes you get lucky here and there. I don't know, stop playing before we discover Armin and then he created this threat, I don't know. 
Don't disrespect Barbie, please. Ah, oh, sorry, Seven Man. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sending this guy to your game. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no comment on this one. There is nothing to comment on this one. This is like a you know uh, invalid opinion right there. The kind of person that like you know have an invalid opinion just because like the guy has no clue what he's talking about anyway. So yeah. <laughs> Got a way to give feedback? I don't know, Idra. But I can tell you, Idra, when like a uh, small gate sees this feedback right here, it will just go straight to the dumpster. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> we just go straight to the dumpster. <laughs> but yeah, on to the next one. Yeah, to the next one right here. So yeah, we see this right here. Players who don't use food buff in Guardian, Abyss Dungeon, etc. Basically, people that don't use food buff and everything. So food. Food is the thing that I used earlier when I was doing like the what's the name the Kayangal. I was doing I was using food over there. So yeah, yep, trash. Yeah, instantly down the drain right there. <laughs> but yeah, my myself have run the blue twenty four percent resource recovery food in my tier three guardians, Oreha and Argos, and sixty percent green food and tier two content. Rarely meet anyone who does the same. Uh, what is what is the price of this by the way? The price of this in Korea is like around two hundred to three hundred gold. So yeah. Use food in guardians. It's not really like a. It's not that bad per se to be honest. Food is still above, man. It's still above. So yeah, but I don't know what's the price in uh, the thing. One fifty. Yeah, that's a lot actually. Actually a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that is actually a lot. I mean, like it's not wrong to do this. This is good. He's basically making himself like uh, better. He's stronger with this, right? And that's good. But I mean, like uh, the reason why people don't use it is because it costs uh, something on a content that like doesn't really need stuff, stuff per se. I use it on like you know, uh, on certain fights that I need food with, like Kayangal earlier. You guys saw me eat the food, yeah. But yeah, so far everything I played keeps quickly running out of mana. And I think being able to continuously cast plus really makes the boss kills faster. Uh, for such a tiny gold investment, I think food goes for between two to twelve gold per twenty minute buff. Depending if you want vitality or how much mana recovery. Food like this are actually, they expire when you die. So, do, uh, heads up over there on that food right there. So yeah, food up on Guardian. He's just making himself uh, stronger, uh, Irimi. It's not bad to use it, no. But it does cost like 2 to 12 gold per 20 minute buff, right, basically. Now the thing is like, you know, uh, those things kinda add up. That's the reason why people don't do it. Because the amount of like time you actually do like dailies and everything after you have a lot of alts is a lot. And that's a lot of gold as well that you use for it. It's good though. It still, it, it still makes you stronger. So if you, saw, you see someone eat food, then you get a better teammate, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know what he's playing, but he keeps running around mana. It could be like War Dancer or stuff like that, but yeah. Depends on that. I mean, like using like this kind of food resource recovery for like uh, classes that run runs out of mana a lot, usually swiftness based classes. I mean, that's good for them, yeah. That's good, that's good, yeah. A 20 minute buff will last you to whole guardian. Okay. <laughs> As I said, <laughs> it doesn't persist through like a certain stuff, but yeah. And even both Oreha dungeons if you pop it in front of the first boss. So, on tier 3 character, that's 7 servings guardian, 1 two car uh, for Argos, and 1 for Oreha dungeons right there. <laughs> But yeah, be mindful if you die, you lost the buff by the way. So yeah, just heads up right there. So if you like eat food on the first boss, this Papega, I don't know, slips from like some banana peel, dies, you reset, you lost the mana, uh, the food buff. You have to eat again. So that's the reason why food is like that. Unless you do the estate food. The estate food is different. The estate food uh, stays for like two hours and it persists through that. But estate food is not as strong as, strong as like this kind of food. So yeah. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. <clears> okay, <throat> well, I think it. The most expensive wood will cost 120 gold per character uh, per week. And the cost goes down even lower if you go for at least 8 to 16 green, uh, green wood. And the value is massive uh, in my way, it shaves off few minutes per week per character through faster boss skills. I mean, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. But this cost is usually is why people don't do it. It's because of the cost of this. Because this 120 gold per character per week, if you have 6 characters, that's 600 gold. 600 gold could have been used for flare and everything, right? Something like that. The reason why people don't do it because of, is because of that. So, yeah. Grats, Tyra. Grats, grats, grats. <laughs> yeah, 120 gold versus 0 gold, kinda. It's not, it's not about like being cheap skate or something like that. It's because you could have used it for other things like battle items. And if you add battle items, flare, uh, flare, uh, destruction grenade, whirlwind grenade, and all of, thing, all of the things right there, then the cost does add up in the end, right? 
So yeah. I mean, utterly simply don't really got no mana issue and all this shit. I get me tank uh, most of the content we got anyways, yeah. Second guess would be the gold. It's just the actual content right now, so you see that you don't need it. It's basically the thing right there, yeah. It's not wrong right there. It's not wrong to use the food. The food is good, but it does have a cost. That's why people don't use it. And second of all, some classes doesn't need it. That's why. That's how it is, that's how it is right there. Even dark grenades or anything, yeah. Well, if, if you're talking about this, right? If you're talking about this, then you might as well just use Dark Bomb on like bosses as well. Use Dark Bomb so you do 20% more damage for 20 seconds and you kill the boss even faster, right? Spam the Dark Bomb as well. And yes, it's better. It's, it's good to do this, yeah. But I mean like the cost does add up. For a character, the, uh, for like uh, how many times you do dailies though, it becomes costly. So yeah. He's not wrong, but I will use 120 gold to hone my gear. True, yeah. You, you basically have like other use for it right there, you know. Like some race you can use it. Some race where you feel like, okay, we should eat food right now. Like Kayangel earlier, 1580 item level when I was doing it. I eat food because I feel like we need it. But yeah. That's how it is. Make it cost silver. Then people that crafted, uh, it's crafted uh, heresy. Like uh, food is crafted. It's people that craft it and sells it. So they get profit out of it. So yeah. Solvice and uh, doesn't need recovery food. Uh you don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, don't need it. I am strong. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, well uh, his point is not wrong. Everything that he does is basically makes like his run better and his party runs better as well. But the reason why people don't use it is not because they can. It's because they want to save that like you know cost and they would spend it elsewhere. They would probably use it, at least us in Korea, we use it on like race that we feel like we need to. Like certain race, like let's say like Abril phase 5, phase 6, or maybe like a Kayangil at the highest item level. But like other than that, we don't really use it as well. So yeah, that's how it is right there. Fast, take the follow man, welcome dude. HP buff doesn't make any runs any faster? No, there are other foods, you're looking at the wrong food map. There are some food that gives you like let's say 6000 main stat, that's a decent amount of attack power. So yeah, there are food that gives you 24% resource recovery. There are some classes that have issue with mana. So this thing saves their, uh, saves, uh, you know, like it makes them able to like spam more skill. Swiftness based class usually, for example, like War Dancer, for example. But yeah, that's like uh, how it is right there. It's not like, uh, it's not what you say is wrong. It's just people don't use it because they would spend it elsewhere instead. So yeah, that's how it is right there. Get a mana gold rune. Masterpieces, I think it's not. It's on hard chaos line, not out yet. Now you understand. And even then, some classes uh, doesn't really uh, like still needs that, even when they use it. So yeah, <laughs> his uh, HP food buff. I mean, like he has like some misconception about the HP food buff. HP food buff like doesn't persist through death. If you die, you have to eat again. That uh, is the cost that can add up as well. So uh, just uh, use it, but if you can do it without, why spend that if you could save for even upgrades if you're pushing that week? Depends, I guess, but yeah. But I know, that's just how it is right there. Uh, he's not wrong. And then, last but not least, man, we can't have a forum post without this. Of course, here we go, man. Here we go. Always, always, always. Nothing changes right there. Nothing changes. We can't have a React Andy without this, man. Can't have a React Andy without this. <laughs> the usual stuff right here. So yeah. Okay, please don't use Grudge Curse Dolls. There you have it. Tons of players picking Grudge Curse Dolls, etc. for their builds. Even if they can make them level 3, they are not worth it for now. Nobody, not a single body, cares about your DPS. You do when you start failing Argos because you don't have enough DPS. <laughs> <laughs> or when your guardian takes like 10 minutes plus omega, then you start caring, right, you know. So yeah, people care. People do care. <laughs> this game heavily survival focus. You are way more useful to the team by surviving instead of dying to the boss just uh, for some more damage. Well, the thing is like if you're an idiot, you're gonna die anyway. Same thing right there. You can run heavy armor and you will still die because your brain just can't process it. <laughs> Just the usual, the user. There is the usual, yeah. You'll be giving buffs to the team while staying alive. You'll be doing more DPS uh, than having grudge by staying alive longer. Yeah, but I mean, like, uh, if you're good and you use grudge, you do 20% more damage. And that's not a lot. 
You won't be wasting revive off in Guardian Raids. If you die with Grass, you're probably gonna die without it anyway. So you're gonna waste anyway. You won't be the one to cast full wipe in Abyss Dungeon. Same thing, if you can't do mechanic, whether you have Grass or not, you die anyway. So... <laughs> Change game if you die on Argos, yeah. Every single guide out there telling people to get Grass Crystal Astra, they are all advanced engraving for those who master the game. I guess we're masters, boys. Hell yeah. Any masters in the chat, boys? Any masters here in the chat? We're masters now. Yeah, I'm also calling all those guide makers to just simple DPS and like Hitmaster, Adrenaline, etc. We do suggest that. We just suggest that after you have the grudge and everything. Because they all stack. That's why we suggest that as well. <laughs> yeah, we're masters now, yeah. And tell people that grass curse either must be used after you have enough experience. You build experience either way. So, yeah. Like, yeah, you run grass and curse so that you do more damage, basically. You're gonna run with it anyway in the future. Like, literally, if you don't take grass, you probably don't clear like a uh, Kayangel. You don't. <laughs> so, yeah. Please don't get me wrong, I had no issues clearing raids. Currently, tier 3 playing solo. Done all raids with perks. I'm telling you because I see lots of people having issues with clearing them. This is a common issue in my eyes. Whenever I check other helping, I see them with level 1 or 2 grudge. Well, this is not the issue right there. This is not about like maxing them out. If you have like level 1 and 2 grudge, then that's already a red flag. That guy has no clue what they are doing. <laughs> so yeah, don't do this to yourself. Play safe, play smart. Well, play smart, yeah. Play safe has nothing to do with it right there. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> has nothing to do, man. People's argument is always so stupid, man, you know. People's argument is always so stupid right there, you know. The, the thing that kills you is not grudge, dude. The thing that kills you is your idiocy for not, like, dodging mechanics. That's what kills you. And with that case, right, whether you have grudge or not, you're gonna die anyway. Same with Chris Doll. Same thing, you're gonna die anyway. So, yeah. People keep saying, oh, at least heavy armor DPS don't die. They do die, though. Have you never seen one? Or did you just turn a blind eye on it? And then when someone dies, you blame the grudge. You don't blame the player's skill. You know, oh, it's not the guy's fault, you know. The guy is good, you know. It's just grudge kills him. Surely, right? Surely it was him, right? Surely it was the grudge that kills him. Not the, uh, not the player's skill itself, you know. <laughs> surely, surely, surely. <laughs> yeah, such a stupid argument, man. Dead DPS do no DPS. Yeah, well... Your shit anyway, even if you run heavy armor. Well, heavy armor, like, you know, a, a life DPS that does no DPS right there. A life but not doing damage. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Mtos, thank you for the resub, man, with the prime. Four months. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, you have to use it at some point anyway. Yeah. Unless, like, you wanna start using it in Abril right there. Then you just, like, gonna cry. And, and then you're gonna complain in the forum right there. Abril too hard, it does too much damage, dude. I guess that's how it is right there. <laughs> Surely again. <laughs> Chisbre, yeah. Why did Grudge kill me, man? Yeah, fucking Grudge killed me, dude. It wasn't my fault that I was standing in the AOE 20 times back to back. It wasn't my fault, dude, that I was face tanking it. It was Grudge's fault that I died. Surely, right? <laughs> surely, surely. While carrying face, yeah. Imagines right there. Maybe Asians are just built different, Slasher. Maybe that's the difference right there. Maybe we're just built different. <laughs> People play Endurance Heavy Armor and Blue, yeah. I don't die, I do damage, yeah. Surely, right? You don't die, you do damage. <laughs> like, someone literally alive, hollow the fight, will do more damage than you. <laughs> hi, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the usual right here, you know. Can't have a React Andy without this, of course, man. Can't have a React Andy without this. I don't know, it's just, uh, at this point, it's just funny. Like, at this point, it's just funny, like, every time that, like, people does this. Their argument is such, they're just turning a blind eye on one side right there. And they're bl blaming, like, you know, one thing only. Damn, dude. That's, like, uh, kinda, kinda unlucky, isn't it, right, you know? Grudge always gets the blame right there. Grudge always gets the blame. <laughs> always always, yeah. You, you break, like, uh, you break a glass and then you blame Grudge right there. Yeah. It was his fault, man. <laughs> It's kind of such, man. Man, being grudge kind of such, isn't it, man? Kind of such. You get blamed for, like, you know, incompetence. Someone's incompetence, and then, uh, you get blamed for it. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, it's crazy right now. <laughs> Keep calm and blame grudge. <laughs> like, uh, how does, it, how does that even make sense, man? You know, people just, like, I don't know. Like, well, I guess to be honest, like, people can't, people don't even understand how, like, express even works, so what were we expecting, right? You know? 
What were we expecting? We we're expecting too much out of like some people, man. Yeah, fucking grudge, man. It's grudge's fault right there. <laughs> I don't know. That's just how it is right there. <laughs> well, that's good, I guess. You know, we get like some Pepega one this time actually. This is Pepega, big Pepega. This is oh, this has oh, this topic has always been Pepega. This one is not bad though. So yeah, this is a, a, an actually like legit like argument right here. So yeah, actually this one is actually good. Keep going all this man. You're going you're gonna be great later, man. You're gonna be great. <laughs> but yeah, that's React ND for the day, boys. <laughs> React ND. Yeah, all this giga chat.